So I want us to uh, deal with this topic today. Honor your choice. Honor your choice. Colossians 2, 16 to 17, it says this. Therefore, let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food or drink, or with regard to the festival of the new moon or a Sabbath. All right, there are a shadow of things to come, but the substance belongs to Christ. Now, in other words, what does that mean? What is the thing that you chose to sacrifice or lay aside this week as we come closer to Passover and to uh, Easter time? I want us to know that we are sitting down and saying, God, we have chosen to do this. We have been committed to do this. And we are going to flow in this thing as much as we can. But the Bible is very clear. Do not back off of your choice, nor do you have to defend your choice. There's so many times when I'll sit down and say, I'm going into a fast, or I'm doing this, that people around me will not understand it. They will start questioning it or trying to get me to doubt the choice that I made because I am going to push in and get something with God. And so I want us to realize today, we need to make that decision. I am not going to back off of my choice. I've decided that I'm going to let God work in my life. This is what I've decided to sacrifice for this week. This is what I've decided to do under the Spirit of God. And I want you to know, stand by your choice. Stand by your choice. All right? And do not allow others to influence you. And this is very important because what is happening more and more is that I'm finding that when you stand up for righteousness, many around you don't want you to take a radical stand. Many around you sit down and go, well, it's okay. You know, you can just pray. You don't have to fast. You know, I actually meet some people who are very proud of the fact that they've never fasted in their entire life. I find that very strange and very odd because I come from a school of fasting and prayer. Now I understand that if you are medically unable to fast food, but you can fast TV, all right? You can fast whatever it is, you know, for the money, you can, you can fast bry flesh, all right? Red meat for a month, whatever it is, just by saying, God, I'm going to honor you. I'm putting you first. The focus is Jesus Christ and what Jesus wants to do in my life. But I want to say this. We need to be careful of being pressurized into an easy Christianity. We need to be careful to be pressurized into just adding Jesus to my lifestyle. So honor your choice this morning. Honor your choice. All right, that with the choice you made. Colossians chapter 2, 16 and 17. Honor it. Say, God, I made a commitment. For this week, I'm going to be doing whatever it is you decided. And this week, you're going to stick to it. And no matter what the pressure is, okay? I've been in many times, and you can ask anybody who knows me. For many years, I've fasted every second day of, the, of my life. For many years, every second day. I would sit down and help the man of Brian. I wouldn't touch any food because I was seeking God and it was countless years, maybe four or five years that I fasted every second day. And so I believe in putting Jesus Christ first. I believe in not being um, affected by anybody else and what they were doing. I need to do what God has called me to do. I need to do what God has told me to do and I'm going to honor my commitment to him. Whatever God has said to me to do, I'm going to do and I'm going to do it with all my heart in Jesus' name. Whatever I feel to do, I'm committed to. So as we come into this week, where we have committed to fast and pray, or where you've committed to sit down and, and change something in your life, honor that in Jesus' name. Amen? And you will see the fruit and the blessing and the power of God be made manifest in your life. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, He took bread and broke it. And he said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for your physical and emotional healing in Jesus' name. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so right now, as we come around the table, let us celebrate what Jesus Christ has done for us. 
Let us praise him for the price that he has paid for us. But let us ask him to help us honor our commitments and not to be influenced by people around. Father, we come before you this morning. We ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, intention. I ask you please to wash us white as snow. Lord, I thank you that you are in control, that you love us so much in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that we are not going to be the same again. And Lord, I thank you for a supernatural flow of your spirit in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now that as we stand holy and righteous before you, Lord, that you will help us to stick to our commitments. Lord, that we will make our word our word and we will go through and we will not be influenced by anybody else. Father, I thank you that we will not water down the gospel. Lord, that we will not be influenced to sit down and just to make it a little bit less than what it is. God, when we honor you, we honor our choice to submit to you and say, Holy Spirit, work in my life this week. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. Lord, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. I release your dunamis power over our physical bodies. I command every form of sickness to leave us in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. Lord, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that the power, the glory, and the authority of God be flowing in our bodies in Jesus' name. And Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine favor and divine healing in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I'm trusting that you are very solidly standing and trusting God for your healing. As we pray for healing, I'm trusting that your faith is there. You've got a scripture, you're quoting it every day and believing God for your miracle in the name of Jesus. When you get the miracle and you are healed, send a report. Believe us at Father's heart. Let us know that God healed you. God touched you. You are now healed. Come on, let's get those testimonies in. All right. Man, I tell you what, I'm so excited. All right, I want to remind you about the 6th of May. It is a major event. At, excuse me, and we are going to see the power of God move in KwaZulu-Natal. Now, I did say that we were moving some buses from Pretoria and from Joburg and Port Elizabeth. All right. Now, what's happened is, is that Pretoria, we didn't get the um, inquiries as we needed. So we moved everything to a central point in Joburg, and that is from the airport. All right, so if you would like to come on the 6th of May, and you'd like to come with us on, on one of the combis, okay, we are going to be taking quite a few number of combis down to Durban. All right, and so please, I want you to get hold of believers at Father's Heart, and so that you can book a, a spot on one of them, okay, so that we can get you down. The transport's free. Right, the accommodation you're going to have to pay for and the food you're going to have to pay for, but the transport down there is going to be free. Okay, so we're leaving from, um, uh, from the airport and then I'm also setting up some combis from Port Elizabeth. Okay, so that we could get this in there so that we could come and bless the KwaZulu-Natal and we are going to raise an altar of worship. Please, I'm going to ask you, the video, the promo video that's out about this, please spread it as far and wide as possible. I believe that it's going to be an amazing event and in the spirit it's going to have major repercussions and positive things. Okay, so we're going to be part of this thing. The prophets have called and we are responding in Jesus name. Amen. All right, then I want to remind you that we've still got the two fire conferences. All right, we've got one in Cape Town and one in Peter Maritzburg coming up in the next few months. So please go to fathersart.co.za. You can already book your spot there. And uh, it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I can't wait. All right. I haven't done one this year yet. And I'm ready for it. I am so on fire for the Lord Jesus Christ. I love him. And I just want to get going. I want the saints on fire. And I want to see God move. And then I want to remind you tonight. Pastor Amanda is on. And she's teaching on the prayer school. Uh, the prayer school. Please get ready for that at 7 o'clock. It's going to be awesome and amazing. It's going to be wonderful because she's, I spoke to her earlier today. She's so fired up, ready to go. I know that God is busy with something. Man, our nation is going to be blessed. All right. 
So please, another thing. Every time you come on the feed, I want to remind you, hit that share button. All right, let's just get the word out there in Jesus' name. Okay, so let's pray. We are going to pray over our nation today. We're going to pray over this week. I know that this is going to be a tough week for many because many are going on leave, Easter coming, Easter weekend. And so we're going to have an awesome time. I want to tell you that uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 10 o'clock, we're going to have a meeting on Facebook. So please join us for that. And then on Sunday morning, I've got my sunrise meeting on the beach, 6 o'clock in the morning. And that is always wonderful. I love the beach. God really knows that uh, he favored me by letting me stay close to the beach. Amen. All right, let's pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, I pray for every single business in Jesus' name. I pray your blessing, anointing, and power to flow in every business. Thank you, God, that as we build altars, we restrict the work of the evil one. The blessing of God is made manifest in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for supernatural deals, supernatural connections, divine uh, contracts in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that our businesses are prosperous. Thank you, God, that as many are working very hard in this week, Lord, I pray that you're going to help them work accurately, smartly, and Lord, that they're going to have a wonderful break over Easter time. Lord, I thank you that we are going to just have a blessed time celebrating what you did for us in Jesus' name. Lord, right now I pray that every single believer will stand strong in what you call them to do. And Lord, that we will just be a blessing, speak life and destiny wherever we go. Lord, right now I thank you for a supernatural flow of your spirit. Lord, in our, in our families, I pray for our families, I bless them today in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for the farmers, I bless the farmers today. Father, I thank you for their protection and, and uh, blessing over their produce. Father, I pray right now for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, I release a blessing over Israel. And Lord, I thank you right now that we as Christians could just stand united and Lord, lift each other's arms up in Jesus' name. Father, we love you. We worship you. We honor you today. And Lord, I know that you are busy with each one of us. Father, we thank you for South Africa and the economy. Thank you, God, that our economy will be blessed in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for this in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody say, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I want us to keep praying. Please start praying for the 6th of May so that we can see the power of God move in that province. Amen. All right, let's go. A declaration. Remember this. Every single line is a statement of faith. Believe it. Trust God. Don't just get into habit. Believe God for every line in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with valor, and go and do what God has called you to do. In Jesus' mighty name.